The Dow hit a record high today as it rallied for a second straight day. Here are the final numbers. The 30 stock index gaining 122 points, closing at 26,773. S&P 500, on the other hand, dropped a point, ended the day at 29.23. And the Nasdaq down as well, 37 points, finishing just under 8,000. Market analysis now from Josh Jones of Advisor Investments. He's in the newsroom this evening. Hi, Josh. Hi, Brian. So what was moving? I mean, pretty overall a mixed bag on Wall Street. Dow up, NASDAQ, S&P down. Yeah, so I think a lot of today was, uh, you know, simply with the, with the, with the Dow, Brian, uh, a lot of the companies that have struggled as of late with trade tensions did really well. Think of some of the big companies like Boeing or 3M, for example. Caterpillar is another stock that had a really good day. On the flip side, international markets, Europe in particular, continue to really struggle. That's not new news. That's been the case for a number of years now. I want to touch on uh, GE for a second. Standard & Poor's has, re has, has reduced their uh, credit rating to triple B plus from A. Moody's has put it on review to see if they want to uh, reduce it. But on the other hand, Standard & Poor's has upgraded the stock from a negative to a stable. What is going on with GE? Yeah, go, go figure. Hey, I wish I knew the answer to that question, Brian. You know, they, they clearly have been struggling as of late. They're in the news literally almost every day, it seems. When it rains, it pours. I think uh, with a lot of these credit downgrade um, news reports we see, I take them with a grain of salt. They're oftentimes looking in the rearview mirror. And I think a lot of these bigger companies have lost some credibility over the last decade or so with the ratings reports they, they give out. Um, oftentimes, once they're released, the stock price has already really taken it on the chin, and GE is a perfect example. In the last year, the stock has lost well over half of its value. So I think the question probably a lot of investors are asking themselves now is, is, is now a, a, a good time to think about buying the business uh, as opposed to selling? Well, let's talk about some real numbers that you can get your teeth in, into. PepsiCo reporting earnings today. What did they have to say? Well, hey, sales were really good. Here's a company that's been struggling to sell some of their core products. Not only Pepsi, but Mountain Dew was another good example. Um, uh, the, the profit margins, though, were down. And that's why the stock struggled not only today, but has been struggling for about a year or so. Costs are up. Think transportation, wages are up, uh, the price of oil is up. Also, their advertising is up pretty significantly. So uh, as a result, the, uh, the stock didn't meet expectations and has continued to struggle as of late. Let's talk about a niche market here, subscription fashion. The outfit is called Stitch Fix. Its stock was down 30% on the day. What's going on? Well, hey, this is a, this is a reminder, Brian, of the importance of Number one, diversification. Don't have too much of your money in one stock or in one business. But also number two, volatility goes both ways. So while the stock dropped 35% on the day, coming into the day, the stock was up almost 75% on the year. The company didn't meet expectations when they reported earnings last night. I think the concern a lot of investors have had since the company went public almost a year ago now was how long could they continue to keep and maintain customers. I think the business model to some extent reminds me a little bit of uh, a company like Blue Apron who also recently went public as well. Um, but, but the bottom line is when the company reported earnings last night, it clearly didn't meet expectations and investors were disappointed. All right, let's talk about a more traditional business, something we're used to, car sales. We got that report. What did that show us? So the, when, whenever car sales are reported like this, Brian, it's a year-over-year -year number. And this is, a, this is an important number and one we look at because you think about it, besides probably a house, this is where consumers are spending a lot of money. Uh, the numbers from a year ago were down and down pretty significantly. Most major auto uh, companies saw sales down about 10% or so from a year ago. But I always take these monthly numbers with a big grain of salt. Um, the, a perfect example is 
A major reason the numbers are down so much was because of Hurricane Harvey a little over a year ago. The numbers in September of 2017 were so good for auto sales because the hurricane had just finished and a lot of people had to get new cars. So the, uh, the comparison was, was tough, to, tough to beat. All right, Josh Jones, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks as always, Josh. All right, you bet, Brian.